Hello everyone, uh, this is a lesson on the quadratic function. Another name that is used for a quadratic function is a parabola. So a quadratic function, y is equal to ax squared. When your x is squared, then you know it's a quadratic function. ax squared plus q. The q is the turning point. Okay, the shape of the function, it will look like this. Either that or like that. Now it depends on a. A is that number that goes with the x squared. If a is greater than 0, meaning a is positive, it will face up. If a is less than 0, meaning that your a is negative, it will face down. And the domain of this function is x is an element of real numbers. Your range depends on the shape also. When it's positive, when it's facing up, y is greater or equal to, to q, that number that we'll be having there. When it's negative, facing down, y is less or equal to q. Then the turning point of this function is always 0 and q. This is a grade 10. In grade 10, you only get this one. The axis of symmetry is the equation x is equal to y. The axis of symmetry is the line that cuts the graph into two equal parts. So in grade 10, your y-axis is your axis of symmetry. Let's see how we sketch the graph. Now we're going to look at steps to sketch the function. The first step you test for the shape. You look at your equation. Here's the example. f at x. This is the function of x. It's the same as saying y is equals to 2x squared minus 8. Your a, that number that goes with x squared, here it's positive. So it means my graph will be phasing up. The second thing, you find the y-intercept. How do we find the y-intercept to let x be 0? So here, we'll have y is equals to 2 0 squared minus 8. So it's actually y is equal to minus 8. You don't have to calculate your q, that number, will be always your y-intercept. Then you write it as a coordinate. When x is 0, y is minus 8. Okay? Then let's do the third. The third one, you find the x-intercept. We let y be 0. Okay? So you have 0 is equals to 2x squared minus 8. We take the 8 this side, 2x squared, divide by 2 both sides, 4 is equal to x squared. We want x, so we're going to put square root. Your 2, it's plus minus 2 is equal to x. Let me show you why do you have these two values. When you have minus 2, squared which means minus 2 times minus 2 your answer is positive 4 when you have 2 squared which means 2 times 2 your answer is 4 so when you put a square root square root of 4 it's both numbers a square root you're asking yourself which number do i multiply to get a 4 so if i multiply negative 2 and negative 2 i'll get a 4 but also when i multiply 2 and 2 i get a 4 so both of them, they are correct. So your answer here, your x can be positive 2. This is your y-intercept, your x-intercept. But it can also be negative 2. So both of these values are correct. Let's draw our function. The first coordinate is 0 and minus 8. 0 is minus 8 is on top of the y-axis. So it's this coordinate. 0 and minus 8. And then my y-intercept is 2 and 0 and the other one is minus 2 and 0 then you draw your graph your graph must be in this shape it's a curvy graph it's not a straight line you don't use straight line you use a free hand to draw it like that then you write the function of f so this is how we draw the graph this is the end of our lesson thank you for watching <laughs>